This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there any way to save camera views other than using Timeline? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the earthquake model here loaded in. And the question is asking about saving camera views. So let's say you're working on a model, and you're maybe zoomed in here, and then you're zoomed out here, or you're rotated over here. And you may want to switch between these views as you're working inside of ZBrush. So you can go through and use the timeline functionality where you can add different camera angles and then scrub through them with timeline. But the question is asking, is there any other way you can do this without using timeline? So the answer to this question is yes. So what you can do is you can come over here and navigate to the document palette and just open this up. And I'm just going to dock this to the side quick. And with the document palette docked over here, if we scroll down, there is a zap link properties area. And if we open this up, in here we have a whole bunch of view buttons here. So what this does is that the zap link buttons here are going to allow you to store different camera angles. So as an example, let's take Earthquake and rotate them into a front view here. And I'm just going to come over here and click front. So now it has stored this as my front view for Earthquake. So if I click on back, you can see I'm going to get his back. If I click on front, I'm going to get his front. Now you can go through and do this with all the angles. So if I want to rotate to his right side now, so let's say I'm viewing the right side of him like that. I'm changing that to right. And this is automatically going to set left as well. So now I can cycle left, right, back, and front. And then there's also options for two custom views. So let's say I want to zoom into Earthquake's mouth here, like so. And now I'm going to save this as custom one. And then let's say his fist. I want to zoom in on that, so something like that. And we'll save that as custom two. So now I can switch back quickly to his front view and go back to his back view, his right view, his left view. And if I want to go and work on his face, I can press the custom one. It's going to take me right here. And then if I want to go to his hand, I can press custom two. And it's going to take me right to his hand. So you can use these options in the zap link properties here and the document palette to store custom views. And you won't have to use timeline. Now, after you have some of these views stored, you may want to clear them. So let's say I no longer want Earthquake's face as custom one. I want to maybe focus in more on his ear. So if you click this clear to option here, it's going to allow you to remove the views. So you just need to simply click this and then come over here and click on the view you want to remove. So you can see that has now removed custom one there. And now I can zoom in to Earthquake's ear a little bit like that. And I can save that now as a new custom one. So now custom two will go back to his hand, custom one will go to his ear. And then of course I have front, back, right, and left. And then if I want to clear any of these, just click this clear to and click on them and it will start removing these. You can also clear all your views by clicking clear all. And this will allow you to clear all your stored views. After you have views stored, so if I have a custom one here, you can also save these views and these will save to an external file. So if you want to use these views again, you can just launch ZBrush and then load them back in as needed. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.